Witchcraft. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rocket stove with recycled cans and common household items. And then in our next video, we're going to test it out in Julian's Quincy and make some hot chocolate gnome. Alright, so the first thing we want to talk about is prepping your cans. I've got a metal coffee can two soup cans and I went with the family size because they're a good height and you only need two. And then you're going to want to cut the tops off, cut the bottom off of one of them so you've got this piece for the chimney, this piece right here for the fire chamber, and then the first thing we're going to want to do is mark our hole with our sharpie. We'll do the same thing with the two small cans. With this one, make sure you position it. I'm going to position it here at that bottom row of rings right there just to get it up a little bit tip, and I'll be able to put some insulation at the bottom of this can instead of putting it all the way down at the bottom. Alright, so I've got both of the circles drawn. Make sure that they, they match up at the same height. And I'm going to drill around this circle um, to prep for cutting those out. drilled on the first can. All right, so I've got the, the holes drilled on the coffee can. I'm going to be cutting the circles out with cutoff wheel on the Dremel, but if you don't have a Dremel, you can just cut between the holes um, with a you know, either a wire cutter or a tin snips. Just grab in there, cut those out. And I'm going to be using Dremel. Safety glasses. right out. Be careful that these are really sharp. Alright, we'll go on to the next one. So now we got our pieces cut and cleaned up, and we're going to be putting them together. These two pieces are going to pop together like this, and then go inside here. All right, now that we have them together, I'm going to use the metal HVAC tape um, to seal the front. It'll all be held together um, for when I pour in the insulation. All right, so we've got that all sealed off. All right, you can see I went ahead and cut that little lip right there and cleaned it up just to airflow since the can went went about halfway over. Alright, I'm gonna finish filling it up. I am gonna put some sand 
like I mentioned, I made that gap down there, raised this up a little bit so I can insulate below that can, bottom of this can as well. All right, so that's what it looks like now that it is insulated with the sand your fuel right there. This right here will be your chimney. So I'm going to use this old display grate that I found and cut it out so there's a grate that lays over the top. I'm going to take this out to the garage and cut it on the grinding wheel. Alright, so I have uh, Cut the grate um, for the top. I've also got um, this piece for the bottom, and I'll show you how that works. I've just cleaned up all of the sharp edges. All right, so here is the completed rocket stove. You can see here the insulation surrounds the chimney. The idea is that all of the heat goes up instead of radiating out, and it also helps. Um, it'll help to keep the sides cool. You can also see I've got the tray in here to keep your fuel off the bottom, allow some airflow beneath it. And I've also got this rack on the top that sits right in and creates a gap here, creating more airflow. All right, so I got the rocket stove here. We're gonna test it out. Um, I've got a pot of water. We're gonna see if we can boil it. I've got my sticks. The rocket stoves are really good for just these smaller pieces of wood. Kids are sledding. Got it up on this log. It's nice, we got a slight breeze coming through so it's it's good when you can turn that rocket stove into the breeze and get some good oxygen in there. All right so I got the rocket stove stuffed with some paper. Um, I've got some birch bark in there uh, as well as some sticks. Hopefully we can get this this going pretty quick. Birch bark going. Turn it into the wind to get it going. You can see that airflow. There we go. You can see this one's a little rusty. I've used this one since building it in the video. Look at that go. There it goes. Got that going. There's the grate on there. All right, and they just keep feeding it into the chamber, keep that fire going. got this grate if we need to prop it up to create airflow in case you've got say uh, like a cast iron that would go over over the top and block off that airflow but this one seems to be doing pretty good with that little bit of air around it yeah, it's burning really efficiently 
probably used about 10 sticks like this. Like I said, just keep it pointed into that breeze. You don't have to do much but feed it. All right, so we were just gonna test boiling water, but. Now we're um, boiling, making hard boiled eggs. Yeah, but this should be good. So I think we just scoop them out and cool them off right in the snow. Get the cat out of here. Don't wanna get boiling water on the kitty. All right, we'll scoop them out and just drop them. Scoop them out and just drop them right in the snow. So the rocket stove works, boils water. Need some hard boiled eggs, we'll eat those in a minute. And the insulation works works really well. The side with just the sand, you can still touch the side. You really want to avoid this, this front chamber. That gets that gets really, really hot. Pretty frequently. We stopped feeding it about two minutes ago. Ah, right, cool it, but hot. <laughs> cool it down. <laughs> Did that work? We hardly used any of our wood. It's really efficient. Yeah. Cheers. We should do this more. 